war about on this dreadful day. Firefighters are trying their best to fight this massive bushfire. In fact, it's the largest bushfire in Tasmanian history. Yesterday, on the 7th of February, 1967, 62 people have died and 900 are injured. A deadly bushfire left over 7,000 people homeless. And that's the report so far. Now over to Finn McFire, the head of the firefighting department, for more info. Thanks, Finn Mc reporter. We are now fighting 110 separate fire fronts, and they've burned through some 2,640 square kilometres in only five hours. Some Hobartians have fled the city, but the highway out of Hobart is jam-packed full of cars. We have fires in Hamilton and in Bothwell, and to Don Chris. Poisson Channel and Sky. Even the Derwin Valley and the Hewn Valley. And then the smaller fires in Mount Wellington and other small towns along with the Derwin Estuary and East Hobart. 1,293 homes have been destroyed and over 1,700 other buildings have been destroyed. The fires have destroyed 80 bridges. 4,800 sections of power lines, 1,500 motor vehicles, and over 100 other structures. It is estimated that at least six, 62,000 farm animals were killed. The total damage amounted to $40, $40 million. This is where the fires have started. Of the 110 fires, 88 were found to be deliberately lit, although the exact causes are unclear. Some were from burn-offs that started in the days before the fire. Young men are doing whatever they can to stop the fire, stamping on it, throwing water in a desperate attempt with gun bows and wet sacks. I think it was a shock to many people, so they lost their lives underestimating the severity of the fire. Even links to mainland have been lost because now telecommunications are carried on wires and on poles. Poles were the first thing to burn down, so as well as power, communications went. Fire struck towns were cut off for days. Now we have an eyewitness report. Although many houses nearby burned to the ground, Mr and Mrs Mather managed to salvage their home with their children and Miss Mather's mother inside. Let's hear their incredible story. Thanks, Ben Reporter. Here I am now with Mr Mather and his chickens who survived an incredible fire. So what did you do when the fire came? So me and my wife were, had stored buckets of water for this type of thing and she handed the buckets of water to me and I sprayed it all over the fire. When I came back, it was like the fire. We hadn't even poured any water on it. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Now, how did the chicken survive? The chicken coop was placed right outside the shed, and that caught on fire quite easily. We got about half of the chickens out of the coop before the roof fell down, and the rest of them got incinerated. Now, back to you in the studio. Wow, what an amazing story of survival. Now, for the ad break. <laughs> 